Grenada will be represented by three athletes at the Para Panam Games in Santiago, Chile, from November 17th to the 27th. It's the first time the Spicile will participate in the premier Paralympics Games in the Americas. Leading the Grenada team is junior Commonwealth Game bronze medalist in the discus, Tyler Smith. He will again look for honors in the discus, competing in the F24 classification. Smith spoke to GBN about preparation and expectations for the upcoming events. Training is wonderful. It's, although I have to say it's tough. It's very tough, but in the mind, you, you just have to make it. You just have to make it. And you just have to keep going and don't stop. In training, they treat me like I have um, two foot and they think I can make it. So I put my all into it. I'll be taking part in two event, events. I will be taking part in the shot put and the javelin. I hope I get a medal. So uh, most everybody here will be like, wow, and they will be proud. Looking for that goal because I really need that goal. I, I really love, I just love that shiny medal. I love medals. I hope I, I hope I get a lot. Nikhil Walters, gold medalist in the javelin in the 2021 Arizona Desert Games, participates in the javelin and discus, and cyclist Sheldon Francois will compete for the first time in the Paralympics. He will be accompanied by cycle coach Troy Felix. Our road cyclist, Mr. Sheldon Francois, is going to represent Grenada this year at the Para games in Santiago, Chile. He will be participating in two events, the individual time trial and the road race. Um, we expect Sheldon to perform well. Um, he has been in training. He has been preparing very hard for, for this event. And um, he has high expectations as well. We, the Grenada Cycling Federation, and our friends, we wish him all the best and we are behind him um, and we hope for the best results. Sheldon's events are the 10-kilometer road race, individual time trials and short races. Sheldon's best time for a 32km individual time trial in 2023 is 1.70191. At the Criterium races, his best time is one hour and for short races, depending on the course and road conditions, two hours. The cyclist, who has both sight and hearing challenges, is a consistent competitor in national competitions staged by the Grenada Cycling Association and the Grenada Triathlon Association. Boca Secondary School's physical education and games teacher, Ronald Charles, is the coach for the athletes, Nickel Walters and Tyler Smith. Manager of the team is Bassanio Nicholas. The Grenada Paralympics Committee says the athletes and coaches have invested much time in their preparations for the Games and is optimistic they will all do their best. The Grenada Paralympics Committee is grateful to the Ministry of Sport, National Lottery and the Grenada Olympic Committee for their financial support in ensuring the team's participation. Christina John, GBN News.